live from Boston, Massachusetts. It's the Cube covering ZertoCon 2018. Brought to you by Zerto. This is the Cube. I'm Paul Gillen. We're on the ground here in Boston for ZertoCon 2018, the third ZertoCon. And uh, with me is a gentleman who has been for, to all the ZertoCons as well as many years before that, Gil Levenai, the Chief Marketing Officer at Zerto. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me here. You were one of the first people at Zerto, I understand, way back in the day. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of like ground zero type uh, person here in uh, Zerto. Uh, manage uh, back then the uh, both the product product team and the uh, marketing team. Then we grew bigger and bigger, and now I own the uh, all of the marketing uh, for Zoto. So how do you feel coming to a conference like this? Are all these people here? You've got uh, big name keynote speakers. Uh, having joined the company as uh, one of the earliest employees, what does that feel like? It's like a, when, you know, I have three teenagers, so I know what it means to be proud of your child. It, it's a very proud moment, okay? Because really, I think the, the caliber of customers we, we see here in the conference, the, of course, the, the, there's the quantity of customers, etc. But also the caliber of customers, the caliber of discussion that's happening here is really, it really makes me proud. And and, and you know, knowing that you know this company started a, a, a few years ago uh, from just like any other startup, a very small company, and now we're really making a, a dent in an industry and we're changing and we're making customers successful is is really really. Your first user Proud. conference. Your first user conference is a milestone of sorts, isn't it? Yeah, two years ago it was really like having a child. Okay, it was like so. Now it's like we, we got into a rhythm. We know how what we're doing now. We know what the conference looks like and we know what it means. But the, the, uh, just like with children, when the older they get, the, the bigger the challenges. Same thing. Okay, the bigger the conference get, the different challenges, and it's always hectic few weeks, but, uh, but... But very valuable, because you come here and you have a chance to talk to customers and uh, uh, non-stop, really, for, for three days. What are you hearing from them? What are the trends that are emerging to you from uh, the conversations you're having out there? So, you know, we're going back to why I was hired to Zerto as one of the first few people is actually kind of like a good uh, uh, example of that, because... I was hired because I was actually, uh, uh, you know, a marketing and product management guy, hired in Zorto before we actually wrote our first line of code. Why? Because we want to make sure that we talk to customers and we get their feedback and we get their guidance on what should be doing back in that day. Okay. And so from that point on, we always are doing the same thing. We listen to our customers. Okay. That's kind of like a key DNA for Zorto. So this conference is an amazing place to do that. To really hear from our customers what is their what are their challenges, you know we had our customer advisory board, we had our partner advisory board here, but also every whole way conversation with customers the same thing. Okay, hey, what what what's what do you need to do? What are you trying to do that you're not capable of doing? And that's where we actually understand the, the trends in the market. You know, we have John and people like that. The analysts are amazing, but there's nothing like an unbiased conversation with the customer and understanding their needs. And what we see is really two major aspects, okay? And kind of like, uh, as you've mentioned in, in the in the in his keynote, one, the the SLAs are, are, are totally different, okay? It's really, really, really unacceptable to be down or to lose data. Done. It's, it's no, no industry can do that, no type of customer, no size of customer. It doesn't matter if you're retail, if you're airline, if you're banking. Five, it, five nines isn't enough anymore. It's like, it's, it's people have, you know, we all have phones, we all used to always on, and everything needs to be always on. So that drives, you know, the whole narrative of guys. I can't tell you, hey, I'm going to recover from two hours ago. It's, it's, it's like not an option anymore, okay? The second thing is they are all facing a lot of complexities in, in, in kind of like the changing infrastructure. They all want to move to cloud. We hear about containers, we hear about cloud, private cloud, hybrid cloud. And it's all really coming from the right reasons. It's coming from trying to change the business model. It's coming from trying to, to change the cost structure, but it introduces so much complexity. So between these two, they just like, they need to really rethink the way they're doing what they're doing in the terms of data protection, mobility, etc. And that's where we came to this kind of like IT resilience platform uh, uh, concept. 
from the needs of the market. So we see customers, I mean, they want more flexibility, they want to use multiple clouds, they want hybrid clouds, they want to have shift workloads around seamlessly. All of this has risk, and resilience in an environment like that is, is challenging. What are you, what is Zerto going to do to make that uh, more seamless for them? I think resilience is double challenging. It's challenging because really to be successful, you can only be kind of like resilient to, hey, how am I addressing bad things that happen? You need to be resilient to the fact that you changing your business is part of your business now, okay? And how am I kind of like effect effectively change my business, run forward, run fast, while I'm not leaving behind any, any gaps or anything that, hey, I might get like, you know, struck by uh, some bad luck or uh, intentional uh, cyber thing, okay, right, right. and lose my business. And that happens also. You see major companies that have big impacts on the business because of events like that. So the key to doing that is really to, A, simplify the way you protect everything and really move to a, what we call continuous protection. And, and you know, that's from a product perspective. But from a, think about it from a, from a methodology perspective. You need to have the ability to always recover anytime, anywhere, whatever you need from realistically whenever you need it, okay? It's like it's the only way possible. And only technologies that are, you know, we started from, we, we're coming from, from, from the high end of the market into, the, into this kind of like now more, much wider market because we're coming from protecting huge Oracle databases with huge change rates, with seconds of RPOs, okay? That's our DNA. That's why we know how to now take that into our entire kind of like IT and say, you need that IT to be available wherever you need it, and you need to be able to protect it at any point in time and move everything around between clouds, as you say, and that's where, that's where our kind of like is our message to the market. You need to be able to do that. Our platform is the way to do that, but that's the only way you can actually not only, as we say, not only survive what's going on, but also thrive in this environment. And that's because you have a converged platform, and, and the time is right. I hear uh, Zerto executives saying the time is right for convergence. Why is that? It's, you know, when you see the market, kind of like, look today at any, any player in the back of the R-Space website, all say the same thing. Okay, why are all, everybody saying the same thing? Everybody's saying the same thing because everybody's trying to sell the same thing. Everybody's trying to sell all of these business cases, okay? Uh, and some don't call it converge or, or they do, it doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is from a customer perspective, if you look at any vendor today in this space, all of them are trying to provide you all of these services. So that's where we see, hey, if this is what's happening, and the customers are also telling us, guys, we are using, we just heard it on stage now, we are using Zerto instead of our backup. Okay, why? Because in the short term, kind of like retention, you're giving us a much better solution. So we see from the customers that they're saying, hey, I want less systems. I want one, one kind of like place where I go and I can mobilize, I can protect, I can recover, I have compliance, I have ransomware protection, all of that in one place. So, you know, the market is really telling us convergence is happening right there. And that's where kind of like, you know, we believe we have the best DNA and the best core technology to provide that converged solution because eventually it's about the atomic engine of how are you doing your your, your protection and we think we have the best uh, uh, avenue there. But if you look at everybody, everybody's saying, talking the convergence game. Oh, so where is backup going long term? Does eventually this backup just disappear and oh, everything becomes continuous? Not in a million years, literally. Okay, no pun intended. Okay, <laughs> because you know everybody, you know the, the legal holds, the, the compliance, retention schedules. The, yeah. the act of backing up your your data, your application is not going away. That's going to stay. We believe that there is a, a, a the shift that needs to take place in the market that we're leading is what do I what does short-term backup mean, okay? Because short-term backup is really kind of like the same thing today as recovering from ransomware. It's the same thing as, as mobilizing an application. And that's where we think that needs to be continuous. And then you need one platform that can also take care of your long-term, you know, months, years, depending on, on what industry you're in, regulated backups. I just talked to a large customer of ours uh, uh, last night in, in our break party. And he said, hey, I'm doing 14 days, and I don't care about anything after that, okay? I'm in an unregulated industry, okay? 
and I do what is good for my business. And for my business, 14 days is good. I don't really need anything. I sometimes have some more copies later, but that's it. So the actual use case of backup depends on the industry, but it's not going away. There's no question that the use case of backup is staying. We think that the way techno the technology that drives that should change. As we're talking uh, today, we're two days out from the implementation of GDPR in the European Union. Uh, does this have an imp impact on your business? Oh, a major impact. You know, first of all, we're a company. So number one, we, I don't you're know if you know, but company, we, sure. yes, of we, course. <laughs> and we work. We have, you know, we work globally. We have, uh, 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 you know, offices and employees in Europe and customers in Europe and and operation in Europe. So all of that. We're marketing, you know, our marketing guy, we're marketing in Europe. We actually had a session here in the conference, joint session by our corporate council and some uh, customers talking about how to implement GDPR because it's actually a joint uh, uh, project in Zorto from all sides to say, okay, what are we doing for GDPR? So us as a company, that's number one, okay? Second thing is for our customers. There's a number of, of things that, you know, for example, take locally, uh, uh, knowing where your data is, which is part of GDPR, we, we help by identifying exactly where, where is your data, where is your backup data, where is your application data, etc. There's lots of kind of like, we believe there's going to be lots of more, more and less compliance kind of like uh, related things that will emerge for GDPR. And, but also, you know, there's like the rights to be forgotten. What does that mean about backups? Do I need to now go open, still open the backup. all my backups? Uh, so if you can see, and, and again, not me, but we have people that dove down. For example, the right to be forgotten is one of the less kind of like the less stronger rights, because I think even the the you know the regulator understood that hey, it's a bit hard to forget someone from you know. Do I need to open my back, back backups from like five years and right. delete something? That's going to be a huge cost. So there's like there's definitely going to be implications and I think time will tell you a bit where this is going in terms of like what are the bigger implications. Uh, no shortage of uh, agendas for uh, for Zerto going forward. That's for oh, sure. no shortage, no. Gil Evan, I thank you very much for joining us, Chief Marketing Officer at Zerto. Thank you very, very we'll much. We'll be right back. I'm Paul Gillen. This is theCUBE. Thank you very much.